What's up, man? Listen, I want to kind of touch on um, purpose. You know, I think a lot of times people walk around aimlessly in life not understanding their purpose. And it comes from not understanding their identity and not even knowing who they are. Uh, years ago, I heard a speaker say that God wants to be God through your personality. But nowadays, we're getting so caught up in this is the structure of it. This is how it's supposed to be. So anything else that you do, you're, 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 missing, the, you're missing the mark. You're missing the point. And it's just not that way. Um, I know how the Bible talks about just... Uh, true worshipers, Jesus said, "My it, it comes a time and now is where my true worshipers will worship me in spirit and in truth. When we go to church and we lift our hands and we offer him lip service, that's just a portion of it. True worship is what you do with your life. And that's why he says to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. This is our reasonable service. What is it? It's what he's put inside of us to do and who he's created us to be. That's the ultimate Worship. That's the that's the true worship. Not going out here wilding out, doing anything under God's green earth. But but what I'm saying is just being who God created you to be, doing what He's put inside of you to do. A lot of times, truth be told, if you go into a lot of these places, whether it's jobs, churches, whatever the case may be, you see a lot of people that are merely existing. And you know what I mean? They're just going through the motions. They're they're just living their life according to the pattern that man has set. And according to the life that man said that you're supposed to live. So anything different or out of the ordinary, you're, you're wayward. You're, you're going down the wrong path. But when you are who God created you to be, you find peace. You find joy. You find true happiness. You find your purpose in life and what you're, what you're destined to be. What you're called and created to be. One of the movies that hit it spot on was Good Deeds by, by Tyler Perry. I mean, this man ran a business, owned a business, but it wasn't until he met a lady who was cleaning his building, the janitor of his building, and she comes in and changes his whole life, changes his whole mindset and frees him to the point of him actually finding who he was destined and created to be. I mean, and he used to go through a routine, and that's what a lot of us do nowadays. We're robots. We just go through the same routine over and over again. Get up, go to work, you know what I'm saying? Go to church, you know, and, and start all over and do the same thing over and over again. But when you find who God has created you to be, you know, God was, God was speaking to me the other day. And one of the things that, that he showed me was when you stop um, being who everybody else wants you to be, when you stop going through the motions that's when I could really use you. When you find that lane and that path that God has you on and you, you're not worried about what anybody says or what anybody thinks and you walk down that path, people are going to talk about you. People are not going to understand. People are going to uh, uh, say, say things, do things. But guess what? When you're finally free from the opinions of others, then you can walk that path freely. So many people feel like you have to do what they're doing, say what they say, live like they live. But at the end of the day, they're miserable. And my homeboy Benjo told me something that I'll never forget. He said, we deal with people that don't know their own identity. How do we expect them to know ours? You deal with people that don't even know who, what they were created to do and who they were created to be. But yet people are so quick to tell you what you need to do with your life. Find that lane, find that path, whatever God put inside of you to do, do it, man, and enjoy it, man. That's where you're really going to find yourself. Your life is hidden in Christ, but how will you ever know if you never seek him for yourself? Go do it, man. Live your life.